We're here with Blake Cook, driver of the number 11 Chevrolet in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Blake, everyone has their different starts in getting into racing. Tell us a brief story of how you got into racing. Um, I actually took a much different approach than uh, the traditional story you hear about NASCAR drivers, how they got into it. I didn't jump in a race car until I was 20 years old, mm -hmm. and I'm 31 years old now, so I haven't been racing that long. And uh, got in these uh, cars called or trucks called Pro Trucks in Florida. Then I jumped in a late model, ran that for half season, and then I was blessed to get an opportunity to race in the NASCAR k and West Series as a Richard Childress development driver. So that's what really took me to the next level. Started in the Xfinity Series in 2011 full time, and uh, five years later, or six years later, here I am still in it and I'm uh, trying to race my way into the chase. At what point did you feel like you made it? When you were a development driver for Richard Childress, when you first started in the Xfinity Series, or some other time? I'd say my first start as a development driver in the K&N Series, I felt like I had made it. Like, I didn't grow up really wanting to be an NASCAR driver with these hopes of being a Sprint Cup champion. You know, unfortunately, I, I think I wish I would have because I love this sport and I wish I found it earlier in life. But, um, you know, I just thought it was cool that I made a start in a NASCAR Series. And I could tell my kids and grandkids one day that I got to race for Richard Childress Racing in a NASCAR sanctioned event. And then that just kept escalating. And, and then it was a big deal when I made my first Sprint Cup Series start. And, um, and then, man, just the fact that I've, I think I'm over 170 stars in the Xfinity Series. It's just a, a blessing to be here every week, not only to make it to this level, but to stay in this level. Well, now you can tell your grandkids that you're racing your way into the chase, which is about here. Give us kind of a brief overview of what you guys are looking for in the chase. I just have to race smart. Um, my team just has to make good calls, and we just have to not do anything um, that we don't normally do. So if we just do our, our deal, we'll make the chase and it'll be a good race and a good rest of the season. It, it's a huge accomplishment for a first year team like Colleg Racing to make the chase. And um, I couldn't be more excited about doing it for my sponsor, Leaf Filter Gutter Protection. Uh, Leaf Filter is a, a huge deal, a huge turning point in my career was when Leaf Filter came behind me. And uh, they have a great product. And you asked me, I'm a, you said I'm a huge Leaf Filter <laughs> yes. fan. I told you, of course, like who wouldn't be a Leaf Filter fan? You never have to get on a ladder and clean your gutters out again. So it's awesome. We have a lot of people from Leaf Filter coming out and hope to uh, have a successful day. All right, well, outside the track, I hear you're a big fan of hunting and fishing. How did this passion kind of start? Um, just with buddies, like I'm real big into fellowship and spending time with friends and getting to know people better and invest in, in people's lives. And, and no better way to do that than go on a fishing trip or a hunting trip. It's a lot of downtime. You can talk and hang out. So that's kind of what started. Then I kind of have a passion for it. It's more like a little bit of a hobby now. So now i got to ask you, what is the biggest fish you've ever caught? Um, the biggest fish i ever caught is probably... You know, I've never caught like a huge marlin or anything, but I've caught a nice sailfish, some nice dolphin, nice uh, snapper. So caught a big shark, but I didn't bring, bring it in the boat. I cut the line. So, I, I mean, fishing is where my passion's at, uh, over hunting. But now that I left Florida for North Carolina, hunting kind of came in a little bit. Yeah, all right. So we're going to finish off with a segment we like to call Would You Rather. We're going to give you two options, and you have to choose which you would rather do. So first one, would you rather go way back in time or way into the future? Way into the future. Way into the future? Yeah. What would you, what would you kind of expect to see in the future? An iPhone 32. iPhone 32. That's yeah. like a yardstick long. Yeah, uh, it's just a huge thing, and you can probably just, you know, make magic happen. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm really interested to see. Like, I always forget about the past. Really, you know, you learn from your mistakes. You, you, you take the good things and you learn from them and you move forward. So I'm not the kind of person that likes to look back. So I'm always looking forward. So I'd have to pick future over past. All right. Next one. Would you rather have a sneeze but not be able to sneeze, or something in your eye that you can't get out for a week? Oh gosh. Tough one. Um, sneeze, sneeze for sure. Sneeze. Something in my eye that really bothers me yeah. bad. And well, some of the sneezing. So I don't know. I would I would pick the 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 eye. Has there ever been a point where you like had to sneeze in the race car? Not that I'm aware of. I don't <laughs> no. think so, no. Okay. Um, would you rather be invisible or be able to fly? Be able to fly for yeah. sure, yeah. I mean, why would I want to be invincible? Oh, yeah. Nobody can see you. Nobody can see you. You, <laughs> you can't, like, do stuff. Yeah. So, definitely fly. All right, and last one. Would you rather wear a snowsuit in the desert or wear no clothes in Antarctica? This is a difficult one. Um... Snow clothes in the desert. Snow I'd much rather be hot than cold. I'd much rather like, be hot than I cold. like to sleep in a hot climate. Like, I like to wake up sweating. <laughs> I, I do not like to be cold at okay. all. 
All right, well, thank you, Blake, for taking the time. For more videos from the Checkered Flag Crew, make sure to check out all social media and checkeredflagcrew.com.